What is going on guys? Boy Trent is back in video and today's video is gonna be able to reaction video to Ole Miss beating Troy 28 to 10. And I'll be honest with you, I'm definitely shocked, definitely surprised. Uh I don't think nobody saw this one quite coming. I think we all knew Ole Miss would win. Uh but I don't think nobody was expecting this close of a matchup. That was just kind of my opinion. Uh I was going with Ole Miss 45-13 as my score prediction. I thought Ole Miss went by about four touchdowns, uh, but for Ole Miss to only win by 18 points, I don't think anybody saw this coming. Uh, today, the defense went pretty good, amazing. We have some freaking beasts on defense. The defense, I'm pretty happy, pretty satisfied with what I saw. The offense, running backs, you know, looked pretty good. Of course, Zach Evans, of course, Junkins had a huge day uh, running the ball today. Uh, but definitely the quarterback play, you know, Jackson Dar, he, he was, he was okay. Uh, definitely not a perfect game. Definitely not a bad game. He just kind of did just kind of okay. Decent. Uh, I wish we'd have saw some more Altmaier today. I know Altmaier started next week versus central Arkansas, but I was kind of a little surprised that Altmaier did not have much action in today's game. Um, so I do have a couple stats here right quick I do want to talk about. And we'll talk about the defense first. So uh, guys that kind of had the best day on defense, uh, or waiting tackle order, was Tasheen Johnson. He had 12 tackles, one tackle for a loss as well, too. Uh, Troy Brown, I mean, if you, if you was watching the game, Troy Brown was one of those guys that called his name pretty often. Troy Brown had 11 tackles. And then also Coleman, this is kind of a shocker to me, uh, you know, Coleman, the, uh, the uh, transfer from TCU, had eight tackles, two sacks, five tackles for loss. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I was kind of pretty shocked, pretty surprised of how good he did today. I know he's a good football player, but I was not quite expecting those numbers from Coleman today. Uh, but the defense overall played pretty good. You know, several guys with tackles uh, making huge plays. Uh, you know, even Ashim Johnson, the fumble recovery, even Miles Battle had the interception as well, too. Um, I'm not worried. Not scared about the defense one bit at all. Okay, so now the stats for offense. Uh, Jackson Dart went 18 for 27, 154 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Once again, those stats, this is, you know, this is kind of okay. Nothing too special. He didn't suck. He's kind of okay. Um, but yeah, Altmaier, only one for two passing, 13 yards. Um, but definitely next week will be a different story versus Central Arkansas. Whenever you see Luke Altmaier play some more, he may actually pass the ball more than he did today. Um, definitely will be a different story next week. Good or bad, we'll have to see. But I'm definitely looking forward to next week to seeing how Altmaier does. Okay, so now the running game today. Zach Evans had 20 carries, 130 yards. Pretty good day for Evans. Junkins, the freshman, had 14 carries for 87 yards. Pretty good as well, too. And then you actually have Dart finishing third today in rushing yards. Jackson Dart, four rushes, 40 yards. Not too bad. And then, of course, uh, you saw us bent with a fourth. The uh, other running back had two carries for five yards. Once again, pretty shocked. Pretty surprised he only had two carries all day. And then our best receivers, uh, Michael Tridd was our top receiver today. Four catches, 33 yards. And then you have Mingo with three catches, 26 yards. Uh, then you actually have Zach Evans, the running back, was start today in receiving yards. He had two catches, uh, 22 yards. And then you have Watkins, the Louisville transfer, two catches, 20 yards. You know, really, the receivers receivers kind of did their job. Uh, Ole Miss just couldn't really pass the ball much today. Uh, Jackson, you know, once again, Jackson Dart did okay, but I can promise you, if this was if this was Matt Corral, our receiver stats they would have looked a lot better today. Uh, there ain't no doubt about that for sure. But but yeah, man, watching today's game, you realize pretty quick just how special Matt Corral was last year, and you could tell, like, man, we're, we're going to miss Corral this year. There ain't no doubt about that. But, 
But yeah, that's kind of my quick thoughts, kind of quick reaction to today's game. Um, hopefully next week on this play is a lot better, and hopefully we can put up more points on the board next week. Um, hopefully by next week you can kind of tell uh, which quarterback will be a starter the rest of the season. Uh, but we we will see. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. If you can please feel like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be great. appreciated. I'll see you guys in this video. Have a good one. Howdy, tardy.